Today on Engineering Newswire, we're 3D printing an entire house in less than 24 hours and rock printing a four meter tall structure. It's just as cool, I promise. Mostly. Let's see. A research group at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich and the Self-Assembly Lab at MIT have created a four meter tall structure aptly named Rock Print, which was built by a robotic arm and is made from nothing but gravel and thread. The groups claim the structure is solid, but also explain that it isn't meant to be touched. During what is described as the rock printing process, the robotic arm placed a layer of filament and then people placed a layer of aerated glass pebbles. This was repeated until the sculpture reached its desired height. The robotic arm was guided by a custom algorithm created by the design team. The labs plan on continuing research into the construction method and its broader applications. They are positive that the technique could be of use in architecture in the future, such as in landscape architecture or in the repurposing of old buildings. Apparently, rock printing could also be used to build full-fledged buildings in the future. Although the team admits they will need a few more years of research to test the technique's limits. 3D printing houses is not a new concept. However, designing a printer small enough to be moved easily around has remained an obstacle. To solve this issue, Nikita Chenyontai, a Russian engineer, is claiming that his Apis Core 3D printer is powerful enough to print an entire building in 24 hours, yet small enough to be transported with relatively low transportation and preparation costs. The 16.4 by 5 foot printer weighs 2.5 tons and can be assembled within 30 minutes. Its size eliminates the need for special transportation and simplifies the process of delivering the printer to the construction site. It also requires no site preparation or testing before use. The system's swiveling extruder head allows the user to print on two planes at once, and in spite of the printer's single point design, its construction area is up to 630 square feet with virtually unlimited height. According to the engineer's website, the printer's low energy consumption of only 8 kilowatts, lack of waste, and high operating speed of 1,079 square feet of lodging per day allow for savings of up to 70% frame construction costs in comparison with traditional methods. This system could someday prove beneficial in rapidly growing cities across China and South Korea. Do you have store ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Potsbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire.